Okay, first let's take a look at Mark 17, set up for doubles. So on the right post here we have our long hose, and then our BC hose, our hose going to our wing. And on the left post we have our necklace, and then our high pressure hose going down to our pressure gauge uh, that sits on our uh, left hip there. So you can see the hoses go straight down, so they tend to get bent and bended, and, and the divers don't really like that too much. Uh, it doesn't look as clean back there. They can kind of get bunched up, but not a problem. Let's go look at the Mark 25, though, so you can see why the hose riding on this is sometimes preferred, because uh, those hoses are kind of coming straight out at the angles you would want them to. So here's your necklace, here's your pressure gauge going right down to your left hip, a high pressure hose. Uh, and then we have our, um, our long hose back here, kind of going straight down again to our right hip. And then uh, the wing BC, kind of the wing hose going to the BC, kind of coming right out. And then you notice this one also has a transmitter. So the transmitter, a lot of divers like this. It doesn't replace the pressure gauge. It certainly is just another kind of cool little backup. Um, and it's just a, like a port plug. There's an O-ring there that can go bad. But if someone were to break the transmitter, it's not like it's going to leak out or anything. Um, and it doesn't block getting back to the valve handle. So you can still get to the valve handle. Uh, not a big deal. Uh, so that's the Mark 25 configuration. You can see how... Uh, with the uh, 17, the transmitter is not really an option because the bending of the hoses is going to be in the way of it, and it can kind of hit the tank. In fact, really, with uh, the transmitter, you have to put another extension on here to kind of get it away from those other ports because they're clustered so close together. And so that actually amplifies that issue of pushing that transmitter down into a tank. Even if they're bigger tanks, it gets even worse. So it's not really an option on the Mark 17s. Um, a lot of cold water divers like these Mark 17s, but they like the routing of the 25. So now we have the 19s, which have the 17s on the inside, essentially. The guts are a 17, and you can see the hose routing is very similar to a 25. So we have our high pressure gauge here, coming, our high pressure hose going down to our pressure gauge, our left hip. We got our uh, necklace, and then our long hose on a swivel, just like the 25, so you can tuck it where you want it. And then the wing hose is coming off. Also, there is a transmitter on here too, so same thing. Um, uh, you can get access, easy access to the valve behind it, and it's not really in the way of any of the hoses. Um, so it's a nice, clean setup. It gives you kind of those advantages of the Mark 17 double diaphragm regulator, but with that Mark 25 configuration. Uh, thanks a lot to Michael L. for bringing his set in so we could kind of compare them.